they bet on who the most struggle will bear to death? First line.
The curse that held Uma proved hard to lift, but Yennefer and the Witchers managed to do it. The ugliest man alive revealed himself to be not man, but elf, and an elven sage at that. Avalach, for this was his name, was the elven mage who had helped Ciri flee the hunt, then hidden her away on the Isle of Mists.
I stopped at the hut. I'll look inside. Locked. Anybody in there? Damn. I'm not gonna hurt you. Open up. Oh, you blew our fucking cover. Who are you? What do you want? I'm Geralt, a witcher. Go away! Looking for a young woman. Ashen hair, scar on her face. Will you let me in? No. How many of you are in there? Why do you need to know? You're taking a bloody census. Now my mum's beard. Get yourself and get a watch. You there, outside the door. Geralt, that right? Yeah, Geralt. Listen, Geralt. Let's cut to the thick of it. We survived a shipwreck recently. Beasts from the depths ate some of my lads, and the rest of us found shelter here. Not too special, that, as dangers litter this isle, but it does go to explain why we're a wee bit distrustful. This conversation is getting tiring. Listen, let's make a deal. But that's a demon. It looks like the dupe must go. I'm not a demon. You don't need to fear me. Give me a chance, I'll prove it. How do you aim to do that? Say I find your mates. Will you believe I mean no harm? Aye, but I'm not counting either coming too easy. How many are there? Three. Ivo, Gaspar, and Benny. This Ivo. Where do I look? Edgar says they did explore the caves to the east. Tried to knock it out his head. Literally. Bugger wouldn't budge. Gaspard. Where'll I find him? He said it was defeatist. He said to wait to be rescued. We had to take action. But more at least. He did. Claimed to have spotted a lantern out to sea. So he said he'd climb the highest peak to look out for a ship. Where'd Ferenc go? West, in search of a ship that's said to be your death. Ferenc, he's a uh, handy. Thought I might fix it up. You can see what they... All right. See if I can't find all three. See ya. I'm content to understand. Talk to your friends. Come down. Right. I'm coming. You lucky devil, you. You know, I've one regret that. Uh, ah! Dead. Damn.
to bed, Nibbles. Wake up. Wh what's happening? Who, who are you? I'm Geralt. Your friends asked me to find you, Ferenc and Ivo. I'm afeard they're dead. Some horror sworn Ivo saw it with my own eyes. And Ferenc, I heard him. A blood-curdling cry, then the roar of a beast. Let's get back to the hut. I'll protect you along the way. Shame about the lads, really, but what can you do? Come on. But I should warn you, I suffer from narcolepsy, meaning you're... I know what it means. Don't worry, I'll keep you awake. <sighs> Off we go then. Stronger than me, I'm so sorry. Come on, get up. Oh, Nipples, you're a naughty kitty, aren't you? <laughs> All right, I'm up. Know much about this island? Almost nothing. You know, it, it ain't on my map. A common characteristic of enchanted islands. You think it's enchanted? It's the one thing I'm sure of. Show me what you got. Trying to flee the fiend. 
one of the missing dwarves. Shame he's dead. Stronger than me, I'm so sorry. Wake up. Uh, I'm awake. Why wait, wait awake? Come on, keep moving. So what has it brought you to this strange place? Looking for someone. Here. Mm -hmm. Just kind of turned out that way. Not. Brought you your friend. Ah, sure. Let's hear him then. Wake up. Uh, I'm awake. Ha <laughs> ha! Gaspard! Stand back! I'm opening the door! Gaspard! Ha! You seem a bit muddled. Eh, uh, muddled. A bit drowsy, that's all. What of the others? Found one near a monster's den. He was already dead, sadly. Saw another fall from a cliff. Broke his neck. Shit. Raverick told me to have an eye on the snot. Twas his nephew. Thanks for helping. And, uh, sorry I didn't trust you. Oh, everything's gone wrong. What'll we do now? Got a boat. You can leave with me. But I need to find someone first. An ashen-haired lass? Yes. Oh, dreadful, sorry. What do you mean? She's cold. Spirits left her. Must have passed shortly before we found her. Let's wait by the boat.
Guess not all of Vesemir's teachings have receded into oblivion. A Witcher can forget to eat, to drink, to breathe even. But a Witcher never, ever forgets to care for his blade. <laughs> ah, yeah, I used to repeat that incessantly. Never tired of doing it either. What creature was it? Huh? Creature? One that gave you the scar over your left eye. It's new. I don't remember it. Souvenir from the Cockatrice of Spalla. Another addition to the collection. Nothing special. Yours has healed beautifully, though. Avalach. He prepared some special ointments for me. But that was before the curse gripped him. I wonder where he is now. We lifted the curse. He's at Kaer Morin, waiting for you. Are you serious? You must be. You'd not jest about something like that. <laughs> A nice thing to wake up to. You trust him? Avalok? He's not let me down to date. Not once. Why exactly is Avalok helping you? Sages have never been fond of humans. Well, he doesn't do it for me. It's about my power. As if it could ever be about anything else. Avalok tried to teach me how to control my ability. He was also making sure I didn't fall into Eridin's hands. What's Eridin after? What's he want from you? What everyone wants. Control of my powers. His homeworld faces annihilation. Eridin's decided to invade ours. Brilliant, wouldn't you say? Can't achieve much on his own, so he needs to bring an army. Except his navigators can't possibly move him and thousands of NL between planes. Their abilities won't allow it. Whereas yours will. Exactly. And if I die in the process, well, that's a necessary sacrifice. How do you ever start traveling with Avalach? As soon as I had left you and Yen on the Isle of Avalon, I found myself pursued. Eridin and his Red Riders were on my heels. I fled through many worlds, many times. They came very close to catching me once. It was then that Avalach appeared, out of nowhere. He found a portal, and took us to a world where Eridin couldn't find us for, oh, perhaps half a year. The world where Eridan couldn't find you, what was it like? You wouldn't believe me if I told you. Try me. People there had metal in their heads, waged war from a distance, using things similar to megascopes. And there were no horses. Everyone had their own flying ship instead. Siri, stop fooling around. Told you you wouldn't believe me. <sighs> we should have stayed there. So why'd you return? I thought the hunt had lost my scent for good. I thought I was safe. Besides, I... I wanted to find you. You and Yennefer. You were looking for us. We were looking for you. Times I thought you were just a step away. Other times, felt like I was going around in circles. <laughs> I'm not surprised. There were times I fled pell-mell headfirst and forward. So tell me how it happened, step by step. Eridin located us mere moments after we landed on Ard Skellig. Soon after, he and his riders surrounded us. I thought it was over, the end. Turned out Eridin had other plans. He produced the phylactery, uncorked it. A fog enveloped us, and Avalach began gasping for air. That's how Eridin cursed Avalach, triggered his transformation into Uma? Yes. He didn't wish to kill him. Humiliation, that's what he was after. But Avalok refused to succumb without a fight. He cast a spell that wrought havoc in the hunt's ranks. And in a full half of a forest on Ard Skellig. Yet it also gave us time to flee. Avalok opened a portal. I leapt in. He was supposed to follow right behind me, but something went awry. Impaired by the curse, he failed to reach the portal in time. We had agreed that if anything went wrong and we were separated, we would meet at his hideout in Venon. 
But you failed to meet there. Yes, we failed to. Once through the portal, instead of at Avalark's hideout, I landed right in the middle of Crookback Bog. I barely escaped the crones. And then there was the Baron. You know he took me hunting. I killed a wild boar with my sword. I heard. A coincidence, really. I had no desire to hunt that day, but it felt wrong to refuse. I'd taken nothing remotely resembling a hunting weapon. I simply hadn't intended to hunt. I was wandering through the forest, breathing deep the air. And then I heard a strange sound. Unsettling. Boar attacked you? Mm-hmm. Big as a bison, and lumbering straight at me. And all I had was my sword. I had to manage. Did just fine, judging by how the Baron's men remember it. Simple soldiers, the whole lot. But we got along splendidly. A shame I had to leave. Flee. But I didn't want to bring the wild hunt down on them. Apart from which, I knew by then the curse was progressing. So instead of looking for Avalok, I decided to find you and Yen. So how do you even meet a man like Horson Jr.? You and Yennefer were nowhere to be found, and I needed someone who could fix the phylactery. No ordinary craftsman would do. I needed a mage, one with extraordinary powers. Dandelion took it upon himself to help me. It was as if his honor depended on it. He arranged a meeting with a mage, but it proved a trap set by the temple guard. Hmm, failed to mention that. <laughs> Probably didn't want to worry you. Later, we learned the guard did that sort of thing regularly, in the hope of nabbing anyone who collaborated with mages. We needed to find another way. That was clear. Then Dandelion said he knew a man who owned a piece of Novigrad, as he put it, could do more than others. He was certain to know someone who could fix the phylactery. Orson Jr. Mm-hmm. I suspected it might not be the best idea, but I was desperate. I had no choice. You suspected right. Orson was not the ideal partner in crime. Damned Simpleton got it in his head that we cheated him and kidnapped Dudu. Who you promptly freed only to have to flee to Temple Isle. Great idea. We hadn't planned it. Had no time to consider, we just bolted. I didn't even realize the guardsmen were driving me into a trap. Suddenly there I was, and I knew I had to disappear. At once. And that's when you landed back in Skellige. The shore of Hindisfjall. The first pleasant place that came to mind. Kjalmar and I used to swim there. Wait, so... You actually wound up there by accident? I thought you and Avalok had arranged something. No, he simply sensed me use my power. Just as Eredin can sense where I am. Where I travel. In fact, Eredin arrived soon after I did. His ride is in tow. Once again, things happened quickly. Lofferton, the hunt's attack, my flight. And then, dreams. Just dreams. What did you dream? I've had nothing but nightmares lately. Pretty horrible. Likewise, for the most part. In one, a monster grown from a stillborn child chased you. Ugh, that was horrible. I had a few nice dreams. For example, in one we sat around a fire, drinking good wine, and all around people danced and laughed. I like that one a lot better. Me too. But these dreams, and the others, ended in some tower. No matter what I dream, in the end, I would enter a tower. Recognize it? Know where it might be? Not sure. I don't think so. But there was something familiar about it. And something terrifying. The tower was stark and dead. But at the same time, I felt I had to enter it. Did you? No. Dreams all ended with me searching for the entrance. And the last time, instead of the tower, I saw your grizzled face. If not for the scar over your eye, I'd have thought I was still dreaming. I 
was afraid you were dead. Found some dwarves here. Said they'd try to wake you, but you were cold as ice and you weren't breathing. And yet you came in. Who listens to dwarves these days? Speaking of which, they're probably getting antsy. We should go. Got a boat on the beach. Once we land, we'll head for Kaer Morin. We're on a horseback. Right. Conventional means of travel. They're just better. Though a portal would be quicker. And draw Eridan to us immediately. Rather not risk it. Besides, I hate portals. Damn! Listen, we gotta think of a way to... Welcome back, child. No point standing around. Come on, time to greet the others. You've not changed a bit. Any of you. All just like I remembered. <laughs> what? Little sis. Here, everyone you asked for help. Avalox resting in the tower, still in pretty bad shape. No reason to do it out here. Come inside. Damn, it's good to see you again. Let's not stand out here. Yes, come. We should hold council. Yeah, you know the wild hunt better than any of us. Tell us about the next one. Ha! Your phone! I certainly think this gas will work. It shall. We must just ignite it at the right She's one of us, girls. 
No way we'll let him do this. Let's go. Greetings, Wolf. Glad to see you. Huh. Set out alone, Vess tracked me down. Insisted on coming. I ought to give you a hiding for not asking my help. But I took it all out in Roach along the way. Ah, some old friends. What's this horse son doing here? We need him. You might have forgotten what he did. I haven't. Gotta save Ciri, whatever the cost. And Letho's faced the hunt before. I don't question his abilities. I simply don't trust him. Letho won't betray us. <laughs> You're naive. Always have been. Usually I don't give a shit, but this time it could kill Vess and me both. Think this through before it's too late. We'll stay and help. But we don't want him on our backs. Greetings, Geralt. If I'm to die, to leave my dresser alone. Get everybody together. Time to talk. Thank you for coming. The Wild Hunt will be here soon. They're coming for Ciri. Want to take her? We'll stop them. How do you even know the hunt will show? They always know where I teleport to. And they move from place to place in an instant. So what's our plan? Aridin, the king of the hunt. He's confident. He'll strike hard, hoping to defeat us with the force of the blow alone. We've got to take the initiative away from him, foil his plan. I'll generate a magic dome over the fortress. It will scatter them, force them to land in the woods. If they're dispersed out in the woods, we could hunt down small groups of riders. Got our first volunteer for the hunting party. I'm the second. Count me in, too. Always believed attack is the best defense. The hunt will try to penetrate into the fortress through navigator portals. I can do nothing against this kind of magic, so you'll need to find and close as many as you can while hunting in the woods. Lambert will make us die meridian bombs. Remember the formula? Of course. Excellent. Erden should work on the portals as well. I shall also give you each an amulet. Snap them in half and you'll become invisible, at least while you remain still or move slowly. Move abruptly, engage any foes, clash with them, and they will see you. Apart from that, they will be able to hear you and smell you. If you come across a large unit, do not attack. Signal Triss and she will provide support. I'll look for your signal. Soon as I see it, I'll rain fire on the forest. Remember, there's only a few of us. We have to help each other, work together. If anything goes wrong and the hunt puts us on the defensive, we pull back, make a stand at the gates of the fortress. The inner courtyard is our last line of defense. If we don't stop them there, we're doomed. Ciri's most important in all of this. The hunt's after her, and we have to defend her at all costs. What do I do? Stay inside the keep. If they break through, come inside. We'll all converge to help you. Out of the question. I can look after myself. No one doubts that, child. But remember the most important moment when hunting a monster? Wait for an opportunity. After the council, I'll give you an amulet. If you use it, a ball of fire will land where you're standing, just in case. 
What else do we have that we can use? Since you plan to ambush the hunt in the woods, I could dig some trapping pits, blue stripe style. Meaning? Deep as the dark abyss, bottoms bristling with sharpened stakes. I brought this Mahakaman mix. Flammable as bone dry saltpeter and plowing sticks to Erethan. We fill some barrels, stack them in a narrow passage, and fire them up at an opportune moment. You know we stand on a vast deposit of gas. If need be, I could open cracks in the earth, create explosions. I would need to prepare, though. There's a laboratory and the workshop. One thing to remember, we've got limited resources and even less time. We ought to decide what kind of weaponry will be most useful against the hunt. Absolutely. We need to assign one type of weaponry each to the lab and workshop. Anyone have any ideas for the workshop? Been wanting to fix that breach in the wall. We'll need the same tools to clear the rubble from the armory. Rubble? Haven't you heard? Roof caved in a couple of years back. There's some excellent swords in there. Swords we could use. Filling in the breach seems just as important. They come through there, the siege will be over awfully quick. Fixing the breach in the walls a priority. Let's not forget the laboratory. I started brewing some potions. Like to finish, if you don't mind. I could prepare more of those witcher's traps, but I'd need all the lab equipment. Always relied on potions. We should brew as many as possible. We won't have time to do much else. Everything settled? Yes, settled. We don't have much time, so let's get to work. Let's sum up. Yennefer will create a magic barrier to repel the main assault. That should push the opposing force into the woods, where Lambert, Geralt, and Letho will be waiting. They'll use Dimeridium to close the navigator's portals, stop as many warriors as possible from entering the fortress. Triss will be waiting for their signal, then give the riders hell. All others will repel any foes who make it inside the fortress walls. If anything goes wrong, we abandon the outer courtyard, pull back to the keep. Remember, Aridin can't get his hands on Ciri. That's most important. Let's look at the map of the fortress, figure out the details. Can't help feeling we've overlooked something important. Don't think about it. Wanted to talk about what we can expect. Thanks, not interested. You should talk to Siri, fine mood she's in. Your potions. Thanks, for everything. I'll saddle the horses. Come once you're ready to head into the woods. Taking Letho with us. You know my opinion. <laughs>